Little Fox. Monster Academy: The Mystery of the Crashing Brooms, Chapter Four: Waldo's Weird Spells. Ben finally spotted Waldo in the hallway after English. Waldo! Called Ben, hurrying up to him. Waldo spun around, sending his glasses flying off his nose. He picked them up and peered at Ben. Hey, you're the new ghost, Ben, right? How do you like Monster Academy so far? It's great, said Ben. Except for the crazy brooms crashing everywhere. I was looking forward to the monster mash dance. I hear it's always really fun. It is. Waldo agreed. Too bad Mr. Freaky had to cancel it for now. But don't worry. He went on. I'm a pretty amazing wizard. I can figure out who's flying the brooms in no time at all. Wow, that's great. Ben said. What are you going to do? I'll formulate a truth potion. Waldo answered. I'll give it to every single student at Monster Academy, and then question them one by one. Oh, um. Ben hesitated. There are hundreds of students at Monster Academy. Won't it take a really long time to question everyone? Hmm. I guess you're right. Hey. Waldo suddenly had a big smile. You're a ghost. You could investigate without anyone seeing you. I can move quietly, said Ben. But I'm not invisible. Oh, right, said Waldo, rubbing his chin. I know. I'll cast a sleep spell. Okay, said Ben. This idea sounded a little better to him. When can we start? Waldo glanced around. I can do the spell now if we hurry. He whispered. Follow me. Ben followed Waldo into the empty library. Waldo took an enormous book out of his backpack and flipped through the pages. Here it is, he said. The sleep spell. Are you sure it will work? Asked Ben. I've never actually tried it, said Waldo. But don't worry, I'm very skilled at magic. That's what I've heard, Ben murmured. Waldo quietly recited the spell. When he was finished, he looked at Ben. The spell is done," said Waldo. "Go look for clues, but be quick. The spell lasts for only one hour." Ben decided to search the broom flying classroom first. The room's closet was filled with witches' brooms. Each one was marked M A for Monster Academy. I don't see any clues in here. He murmured. Just a bunch of. What's that? Ben reached down and picked up a small object. I wonder what this is. He thought, slipping it into his pocket. It looks a little like a tooth. Suddenly, a voice said, "What are you doing here?" Ben spun around and saw Winnie. Her eyes were wide open. Oh, said Ben. I, uh. Why was Winnie awake? And what was she doing in the broom flying classroom? Winnie started talking really fast. I was in math class, but suddenly I just couldn't sit still. No one could. I mean, who wants to do math when you feel like running or going flying or something, right? Even Mr. Slime didn't want to be there. 
class dismissed, he said. And then he ran out of the room so he could go jogging around the track. Winnie ran over to the brooms. Oh, how I wish I could fly them. See you, Winnie, Ben called. She was acting really weird. He had to find Waldo right away to see what was going on. Earlier, the halls had been empty. Now, teachers and students were rushing around. In the middle of the chaos, Waldo made his way toward Ben. Something happened with the sleep spell, whispered Waldo in a panic. Instead of putting everyone to sleep, it made them wide awake. You're not kidding, said Ben. What happened? Waldo looked sheepish. I guess even a great wizard like me can make a mistake sometimes. I guess. Ben muttered. Waldo held up his hands. Don't worry, I have another spell I can use. Follow me. Ben followed Waldo to the library once again. The wizard opened his big book of spells and recited some new words. This spell will make everyone forget everything that happens during the next hour, said Waldo. Even if other monsters see you snooping around, they won't remember. Awesome, said Ben. Let's go search for clues. Ben and Waldo hurried back into the hallway. Instantly, all the monsters, students and teachers, fell silent. They all stared at Waldo. A purple monster ran up to Waldo. Oh, Waldo, what a wonderful wizard you are. Uh -huh. A witch pushed the purple monster aside. Waldo, you are so cute! Will you marry me, Waldo? shouted a mummy. Will you go to the monster mash with me? cried a goblin. What is going on? cried Ben. Why is everyone in love with you all of a sudden? Waldo put his palm to his forehead. Ugh, I didn't cast a forgetting spell. I cast a love spell. 